coronavirus. There's a lot of news and all the facts. On 92.1 City. I'm James Mackin with the latest on COVID-19. Starting with the latest numbers, Ontario has 211 new cases today, the single largest spike since the beginning of the pandemic. The provincial total is now 1,355. Quebec still has the highest infection numbers at 2,840 cases. Alberta has 621 cases, and BC has 884 cases in total. The national total is currently just over 6,600 cases. In Saskatchewan, there's been an increase of 18 cases, all in connection with a snowmobile rally held earlier this month. In Yukon, the territorial government is banning residential evictions during the pandemic. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is continuing to self-isolate despite his family's good news last night as his wife Sophie received the all clear. And starting tomorrow at noon, domestic travel will be banned for anyone showing symptoms. This includes air and intercity rail travel. Keep listening for the latest updates as they happen across Canada. COVID-19 is here. To stop the spread in Manitoba, we all need to act now to protect ourselves, our loved ones, and our community. Wash your hands frequently. Don't touch your face with unwashed hands. Disinfect surfaces. Cover your cough or sneeze. Stay at least two meters or six feet away from others in public. And if you feel sick, stay home. That's how we beat COVID-19. Go to COVID19Manitoba.ca for more. COVID19Manitoba.ca. Stay safe. Stay strong. We're all in this together, Manitoba. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There's a lot of news and all the facts. On 92.1 City. I'm James Mackin with the latest on COVID-19. In Ontario, they saw their largest single-day spike in COVID-19 cases. They had a total of 211 cases today for a provincial total of 1,355. In the greater Toronto area, six firefighters tested positive and they are now self-isolating. In Quebec, Premier Francois Legault announced that their infection numbers are lower than expected due to the success of physical distancing. They're not out of the hot water yet as the cases are growing all over the nation. In Alberta, they confirmed an additional 40 cases today, bringing their provincial total to 661. And on Monday, domestic travel will be banned for anyone showing symptoms of COVID-19 on air and intercity rail travel. In B.C., they have 884 cases. Quebec has the most cases in the nation with 2,840. In Atlantic Canada, a total of 334 cases. The most in Newfoundland and Labrador, which has 135 cases. And Nova Scotia close behind with 122. A little more than 6,600 cases throughout the nation. Keep listening for the latest updates as they happen across Canada. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There's a lot of news and all the facts. One city. I'm James Mackin with the latest on COVID-19. Starting with the latest numbers, there are a little more than 6,600 cases across the nation. Quebec has the highest number with 2,840 infections. Out west, BC has 884 cases and Alberta has 661 cases. Ontario has 1,355 cases with an over 200 person increase on Sunday alone. In some positive news, Elton John hosted a concert that played worldwide from his home, featuring several artists also performing from their homes, such as Mariah Carey, Billie Eilish, and Alicia Keys. Dr. Teresa Tam, the nation's chief public officer of health, warns that we're reaching a critical point in Canada's handling of the coronavirus. It's important to maintain social distancing as we continue to self-isolate. And today at noon, domestic travel will be banned for anyone showing symptoms of the coronavirus. Even if you just have a cold, you won't be allowed to travel on planes or intercity rail. Keep listening for the latest updates as they happen across Canada. Rena, TJ and Turnbull's self-isolation tips. You gotta be stocked up on not just food and obviously massive amounts of toilet paper, but things you can do that don't involve the television. Things like uh, puzzles or crib or marbles. I guess maybe we can read books or, or magazines. We could read the backs of the DVDs that we own or the subtitles on the shows on TV or, uh, yeah, just watch TV. Helping you practice self-distancing. 92.1 City. 92.1 City will always be here to provide you with the info you need during the COVID-19 pandemic. Winnipeg is a pretty friendly place. It's right there on our license plates. Come on. I mean, we love to shake hands. But uh, right now, if someone puts out their hand to shake, you should tell that person to kick rocks. Getting someone sick wouldn't be very friendly of you. And right now, avoiding a handshake might just be the friendliest thing you can do. (laughs) Not this time, Karen. Protect yourself by protecting your health. A message from your self-isolation station. 92.1 City. 
The government of Canada and public health experts are taking action to protect Canadians from COVID-19. Protect yourself and others, especially those with medical conditions and older adults. Wash your hands often. Avoid touching your face. Cough or sneeze into your arm and disinfect surfaces. You should also avoid crowded places. Avoid all non-essential travel outside of Canada. And if you're sick, stay home. To learn more, visit canada.ca slash coronavirus. A message from the Government of Canada. All Wendy's restaurants are open for drive through and delivery and offering free delivery on all orders over $20 with skipped dishes. Remember, wash your hands and stay safe. Wendy's, fresh is what we do. 92.1 City. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There's a lot of news. Get all the facts. On 92.1 City. I'm Veronica Thor with the latest on COVID-19. Canada's top doctor is warning about the presence of COVID-19 in facilities and communities that are home to the country's most marginalized people. Dr. Teresa Tam's concern comes as the number of confirmed and presumptive cases of the virus continues to spike in Canada. There are now nearly 8,600 cases, more than half of them in Quebec. And B.C. Premier John Horgan made a direct address to his province Tuesday night, reassuring people that the government has a plan to weather the COVID-19 crisis. Horgan says that province will announce a plan on Wednesday to make sure health care workers have the equipment and supplies they need to stay safe, including getting them reusable medical garments. He also asked people to stick with the advice of public health officials by staying home as much as possible and to continue keeping a physical distance from others. Keep listening for more updates as they happen. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There's a lot of news. Get all the facts. On 92.1 City. I'm Karen Siolin with the latest on COVID-19. Cash is on the way for all businesses struggling to keep workers on the payroll. A federal wage subsidy to cover 75% of salaries will go out to any company that's seen revenue slashed by at least 30%. But for anyone thinking about cheating the system, Prime Minister Trudeau says don't. There will be serious consequences. In its own struggle with the COVID-19 pandemic, Air Canada will lay off another 15,000 employees. The cuts coming in April and May. Most of the layoffs will be temporary. Quebec and Ontario are fighting still surging coronavirus infections. Quebec leads the country with more than 3,000 COVID-19 cases, while infections have surpassed 1,700 in Ontario. That province's top doctor says part of the reason cases are climbing is because of a backlog of tests, which has left thousands of residents anxiously waiting at home for results. Keep listening for more updates as they happen. I'm Teddy, running down a dream, 92 in City. So Kevin Donnelly from uh, True North, one of the VPs there, one of the good guys in uh, our city of Winnipeg. Uh, and this um, opportunity has been learning how to play guitar. And the first guy that he learned how to play guitar was that guy, Tom Petty. <laughs> there must be always remaining in every life some place for the singing of angels, some place for that which in itself is breathlessly beautiful. Think about that. Here's Sloan on a rock ride in 92 and City. Matt Good Band on a Monday in 92 and City. Matt Good Band would have been in town the other day. <laughs> if, well, you know where I'm going with this. Uh, be the carrier of kindness. Be the carrier of patience. Be the carrier of love. Be the carrier of... A, enthusiasm, of compassion, of a positive attitude, resilience, and of course, hope. Here's Def Leppard. Some pop metal of its finest in 92 One City. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There's a lot of news. Get all the facts. I'm Karen Siolin with the latest on COVID-19. If you're a business owner struggling to pay your employees during this pandemic, you could qualify for Canada's wage subsidy. The plan to cover 75% of wages is open to any company that suffered a revenue drop of at least 30%. The Prime Minister saying... Whether it's airlines or oil and gas or tourism, we're going to have to do more. That additional help is expected to be announced in the coming days and weeks. Two cruise ships carrying hundreds of Canadians are on the move after being stranded off the coast of Panama with four dead and nearly 200 people aboard with symptoms. The ships are now sailing toward Florida. At the epicenter of America's outbreak, a floating military hospital has arrived in New York to help relieve the city's overburdened hospitals. Coronavirus deaths in the state shot up by 253 in a single day 
Keep listening for more updates as they happen. More than ever, there is challenges rising up. And in this case, maybe you have to choose between rent and utilities and food. It's a position you never want to be in. That's why Rogers has gotten together with Food Banks Canada looking for your help, even if it means donating a dollar. Every bit helps. More up on our website. That's where you can get started, 92inCity.ca. Thank you. I'm Poncho. Here's the Connellon Crush. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There's a lot of news and all the facts. On 92.1 City. I'm Phil Martino with the latest on COVID-19. There are now over 11,000 positive COVID-19 cases across Canada and 130 deaths. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Teresa Tam says at least 50 of the fatalities occurred in long-term care homes. The Foreign Affairs Minister says trying to get stranded Canadians back home is the most unprecedented challenge Ottawa has ever faced. He says the federal government is working around the clock to try to arrange repatriation flights for Canadians who are stuck in other countries amid the COVID-19 pandemic. However, he warns the government will not be able to get everyone back to Canada. Sexual health advocates are warning the COVID-19 pandemic will likely lead to a surge in unintended pregnancies due to limited access to services and contraceptives. Action Canada for Sexual Health and Rights says it already has noticed a big increase in the number of people calling its helpline in distress. Keep listening for the latest updates as they happen across Canada. Gordani with a hip, the late Gordani on a Thursday night at 92 in City. Be careful on the roads out there. Be careful on the roads out there. Unless you really, really, really have to go out, be careful. Be careful. The universe has shaken us to awaken us, but some people still don't get it. I want to go back and play a song from the Stones. And the pantheon of amazing stone songs. This just might be number one. Let's do the shimmering guitar lines. Listen to the lyrics. And Mick Jagger, for whatever reason, has always been underrated as a phenomenal lyricist. The Stones, where else? 92 One City. Thank you, Jaren's first date, 92 in City on a Thursday night. Be careful, be careful, be careful on the roads out there. If you should happen to be out there. State me obvious. Um, Danko Jones, boy, what an entertainer. What a presence. Electrified force on stage. A little bit of Paul Stanley. A little bit of uh, Little Richard in there. Great presence. I want to say thank you to the doctors, to the hospital staff, to the nurses, to the first responders, to the pharmacy staff, to the police, to the firefighters, to the grocery employees, to the truck drivers, the restaurant workers, the delivery drivers. I can go on and 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 on. The people that are doing what they have to. How about the truck drivers? And how about the tow truck drivers? Your Stone Temple Pilots, 92 and City. Def Leppard, Fool in 92 and City, the biggest selling British hard rock band of the 80s. Two albums in the 80s that sold 10 million copies each in America. I think only four other bands have done that. Whoa, welcome aboard. I just want to say this. I had a little procedure at a hospital yesterday. I want to take my hat off, actually my toque off, to those working there. God bless them. They touched my soul. And how how attentive they were and how good they were at what they did and they had smiles on their faces with everything that's going on. God bless them. God bless them. Here's Gody Johnson with Big Sugar at 92 and That's Rush, Spirit of Radio in 92 and City. They were formed in 1968 in the fall in Toronto, Ontario. Really didn't come together until 74 when Neil Peart joined the band. He was the primary songwriter. And I love, I love his lyrics. Rest in peace, sir. Thank you. Thank you for helping write soundtrack of so many people's lives. Spirit of Radio again with Rush on 92 and City. Uh, mention to you and you and you over there, the food banks of Canada. They need our help. They need our help more than ever. The food banks of Canada. Do what you can. Do what you can. And they need money too, not just food. Here's the Metallica doing a cover of a song you might know from Thin Lizzy, which was a cover of a song from the 1860s. This is Whiskey in the Jar. A 92 in City. 
92.1 City will always be here to provide you with the info you need during the COVID-19 pandemic. Listen, we think you have a beautiful face and we can see how you'd want to touch it. But right now, don't. It's hard, we know. But touching your face transfers germs and that can make you sick. So stay home as much as possible. Keep your hands clean and for the next little while, stop touching your beautiful, beautiful face. Protect yourself by protecting your health. A message from your self-isolation station. 92.1 City. The coronavirus pandemic has created a dramatic new world. It's a really weird time with lots of uncertainty. People are at home self-isolating and social distancing. And we'll talk about it all on Frequency Podcast Network's The Big Story. Join me, Jordan Heath-Rawlings, every day to discover how Canadians, like you, are coping. You'll get advice and strategies, companionship and comfort, all right here on The Big Story. Listen and subscribe for free with your podcast player and at FrequencyPodcastNetwork.com. Find your frequency. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There's a lot of news in all the facts. On 92.1 City. I'm Phil Martino with the latest on COVID-19. Close to 250 Canadians aboard two Holland America cruise ships have finally arrived at a port that will accept them. They've been allowed to disembark in Florida. The vessels have been stranded for weeks because no country would accept them after four people died and dozens of others showed symptoms of COVID-19. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says personal protective equipment that was ordered by Canada needs to make it to Canada. He says he's very concerned by reports that medical supplies destined for this country have been diverted to the U.S. As the Canadian Armed Forces prepares to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Royal Canadian Navy is pulling a number of ships back from overseas missions and imposing strict rules around physical distancing at sea. Organizers of the Toronto International Film Festival say it's still a go for September 10th through the 21st this year, but with public gatherings being banned due to the COVID-19 pandemic, they're also exploring new ways to screen films. Keep listening for the latest updates as they happen across Canada. And he does. <laughs> Gloria sends it any to one city. Boy, do they work hard. Boy, do they sweat and they give it their all. The front man of that band, he's an original, hard working. We would have seen him in a perfect world about a week ago. We would have been talking about a show of theirs. Gloria sends, get into them. Get into them. Yet another band from Kingston, Ontario. Gentleman that was in a band called Fountains of Wayne. Passed away the other day, Adam Schlesinger. He was an intellect. He and his band delivered a song called Stacy's Mung, which was, at the end of the day, tongue-in-cheek. Thank you, Adam. Thank you for some incredible, incredible music. Here's Kiss, and I was made for loving you. On 92 and 6. Oh, do I love that band. It's that set of winds in Ontario, Canada. That is Tea Party, Heaven Coming Down. On 92 and City. Amazing music. Amazing musicianship. Big, big fan base in uh, Australia, too. I want to say a word of the day for you. And I'd like you to take a moment out and let it marinate in your soul. The most unrealistic person in the world is a cynic, not the dreamer. Hope only makes sense when it doesn't make sense to be hopeful. Let that marinate. Let us go back and play some Beastie Boys. First white rap group of any, I guess, uh, significance in the early days, importance maybe. 1985, they toured the, the opening act on a Madonna tour. Here are the Beastie Boys in 92. Monster Magnet, uh, Space Lord 92 on City. I saw this earlier today. It's a uh, remarkable turnaround that rich economies where virus cases have exploded are welcoming, and this is really cool, help from lesser ones. For example, Russia sent medical equipment en masse to the U.S. Cuba, Cuba supplied doctors to France. Turkey dispatched protective gear and disinfectant to Spain and Italy. God bless him. Here's Triumph doing a Joe Walsh song called Rocky Mountain Way. I love you too, and Our Lady Peace, 92 in City, and song called Starseed. Uh, They were scheduled to have a new disc drop this year. I hope that's still going to come to fruition. We urge you over there and you over there and you over there more than ever to do what you can to keep your spirits high. Listen to music. Read a good book. Start a video chat. Watch a movie. FaceTime 
if you can, an elderly neighbor, check in on a friend. And again and again, heartfelt thanks to the first responders and health care workers. Here's ZZ Top from 1983. Eliminator was the album. Put him in the big leagues. I want to call him purveyors of Space Boogie. Let's check out some legs from 92 and 92 One City will always be here to provide you with the info you need during the COVID 19 pandemic. Winnipeg is a pretty friendly place. It's right there on our license plates. Come on. I mean, we love to shake hands. But uh, right now, if someone puts out their hand to shake, you should tell that person to kick rocks. Getting someone sick wouldn't be very friendly of you. And right now, avoiding a handshake might just be the friendliest thing you can do. (laughs) Not this time, Karen. Protect yourself by protecting your health. A message from your self-isolation station. 92.1 City. During this outbreak, it's recommended that you stay home. But what if you had no shelter and no resources? That's the reality that Winnipeg's most vulnerable are faced with. But they're not alone. Silo Mission is here for them. Silo Mission provides food, shelter, and medical care to those who need it most. But they need your help. When you support Silo Mission, you're helping not only change lives, but save them as well. We're all in this together. So please, donate today. Siloam.ca Hey Winnipeg, Evan from Lux Barbecue Company here. I wanted to thank you for supporting us and other local businesses through these tough times. While I look forward to the days when we do not have to limit the number of customers through our doors, we are here to serve you in a different form for now. If you are in the market for a new barbecue, smoker, rubs or sauces, or even fuel sources such as propane tanks, wood pellets or charcoal, visit us online and take advantage of our $5 delivery service on anything we sell. To your door with no contact. LuxBBQ.ca COVID-19 is here. To stop the spread in Manitoba, we all need to act now to protect ourselves, our loved ones, and our community. Wash your hands frequently. Don't touch your face with unwashed hands. Disinfect surfaces. Cover your cough or sneeze. Stay at least two meters or six feet away from others in public. And if you're sick, stay home. That's how we beat COVID-19. Go to COVID19Manitoba.ca for more. COVID19Manitoba.ca The Government of Canada and public health experts are taking action to protect Canadians from COVID-19. Protect yourself and others, especially those with medical conditions and older adults. Wash your hands often. Avoid touching your face. Cough or sneeze into your arm and disinfect surfaces. You should also avoid crowded places. Avoid all non-essential travel. And if you're sick, stay home. To learn more, visit canada.ca slash coronavirus. A message from the Government of Canada. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. There's a lot of news. Get all the facts. On 92.1 City. I'm Phil Martino with the latest on COVID-19. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he knows the need for medical supplies is great in the U.S., but it is the same in Canada. He says he's asked the public safety minister and transport minister to look into reports that medical supplies destined for Canada have been diverted to the U.S. As Canada and other countries scrambled to provide protective equipment for healthcare workers on the front lines of the COVID-19 pandemic, 68 nations have moved to restrict the export of face masks, gloves and other medical supplies. One professor in Switzerland calls the move a potential death sentence for some of the world's most vulnerable patients. The union representing healthcare workers in Canada's federal prison system says a lack of personal protective of medical gear could see their members walk off the job in the next few days. The Professional Institute of the Public Service of Canada cites provisions of the Canada Labour Code that allow workers to refuse unsafe work. Keep listening for the latest updates as they happen across Canada. How is it, GNR? Mr. Brown said from that spectacular debut of the fall of 1987 in 92 Orange City. I used to hear stories about the first tour. First year, first tour, endless fights between the band members. Every guy in the band was fighting with every other guy in the band. Then they'd fight with the audience, and then they'd fight with policemen at shows. You know, honest to goodness. Anyway, GNR. GNR. Still doing incredible business when things are back to normal. Help me to be less fearful of the measure of time and more fully alive in the time that simply is. Help me to live time, not just simply to use it, to breathe it in and to return it in acts of love and presence. In love and presence. Here's Sloan, 92.